we keep going back for some reason on this podcast to basketball references, but LeBron James, I mean, you, mm-hmm. like I read all his interviews where he talks about his number one, um, his number one thing that's most important to him when training or anything like that or nutrition or practice, even like the number one thing, most important thing to him is sleep. Like, yeah. Sleep cannot get in the way of anything. And he r- rigorously sleeps nine to 10 hours a night and takes two to three hour naps every day. Wow. And yeah. it's like, it's the ultimate. And he has, he has his own yeah. personal hyperbaric oxygen chambers he travels wow. with. And like, yeah, yeah, that, that's a big topic. So hyperbaric oxygen can increase stem cell production. It also stimulates the release of those stem cells and those stem cells can go in and hone in on sites of, of injury and inflammation mm-hmm. and, and enhance the in, uh, repair processes. Uh, so it's, debated on how that works but if they hone in and they collect in a certain area they also release various growth factors that can help in uh uh skeletal muscle protein synthesis and and repair maybe anti-inflammatory effects yeah so i'm not convinced of the science but a lot of people send me papers and say look at this should i be using a hyperbaric like nfl players and things like that for that kind of stuff yeah and i say you know it look i i haven't seen any big but clinical trials but the Mm -hmm. basic science kind of says it's there i know Stephen thom who's also funded by the office of navy research was the one of the first to show that hyperbaric oxygen therapy almost works like this drug uh, gmcsf which is a sort of an activator of of our stem cells and can recruit uh increased levels and it's used therapeutically uh, in cancer patients and different patients that it almost has the same ability as this drug which is extremely expensive (laughs) to actually influence the production and the release of stem cells really so uh there's a drug out there uh gmcsf and i think it's uh leukine or neupogen you know if you go these are very expensive drugs that are used for uh a number of applications some of them experimentally for like neurological diseases but also cancer patients and Mm -hmm. stuff use them for for uh for different applications so Mm uh so granular granulocyte mono yeah CSF, GM, G, 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 GMCSF, GMCSF and okay. there's GCSF and GMCSF. So leukine and neupogen. Uh, so these are drugs I'm not super familiar with, but I became familiar with it when some discussions were about hyperbaric oxygen were referencing these drugs in relation to the, abil- the ability of hyperbaric oxygen to recruit and stimulate uh, the production and release of stem cells that can enhance you know, uh, tissue injury and repair. Mm -hmm. So, so there is, I get a lot of questions about hyperbaric oxygen therapy in athletes. And I think there's some, I just say the jury's still out, but I think, and I do that to be protective because my contracts are actually to study the negative effects of, of, of hyperbaric oxygen. So I study oxygen toxicity seizures, which are the seizures that are generated from hyperbaric oxygen being too high. So I study the negative. I built my whole career studying the negative effects of high pressure oxygen and why we need to avoid it and develop mitigation strategies against it. But understand that hyperbaric oxygen therapy is within a defined limit. And that limit is set by the potential to get oxygen toxicity seizures. So within that therapeutic limit, it can have anti-cancer effects that I talked about. You know, it can have, uh, there's 14 different FDA approved applications so an emerging application could be recovery of athletes, you know, uh, from this. And I think there are these home hyperbaric chambers that you can get on eBay for like fifteen hundred right. to twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, they may provide some benefit if you're a high end athlete and it gives you that zero point five percent, you know, benefit, or if you're recovering faster, you know, that it may be something to invest in. I mean, science is pointing into it, but it's not. I'm not completely sold on it. Is there any yeah. any benefit to someone like? you know, like you or I to have that in their home kind of like as a, as a therapeutic thing for someone who just casually works out or wants to be healthier. Yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, I communicate a lot with vets. So people with traumatic brain injury and concussions. And I think sadly, this is an area that's not FDA approved. So I would encourage people to check out, uh, You know, the use of hyperbaric oxygen for traumatic brain injury, concussions, Mm -hmm. uh, we know that hyperbaric oxygen at very high levels is 
a stimulant to the brain and you can overstimulate it to have a seizure, right? <laughs> uh, but when it's done at lower levels, lower therapeutic levels, it can augment and it can reduce inflammation. It can stimulate processes where the adaptive response is the repair of the injury. And uh, when you have a concussion or a blast injury, it's rupturing blood vessels. So you have these hypoxic pockets. And when you go like these areas of the brain that don't have enough oxygen, that's what I mean by that. Uh, so hyperbaric oxygen therapy can restore oxygenation into those areas and mm -hmm. start to enhance the healing process in the brain. So there's a lot of data to support it. And, uh, we uh, will be presenting at a uh, hyperbaric oxygen uh, therapy conference uh, 2020. And we're a lot of uh, vets will be talking about this, NFL players. Uh, and I think we need more research, but I think the research is pretty good with stroke injury and hyperbaric in animal models and now uh, some evidence in patients. Mm -hmm. So it's not an FDA approved application, but another consideration that needs more attention federal funding uh if you have a traumatic brain injury a concussion or stroke i think people should look into i'm not going to advocate it because i need to stay within the realm of right. it but i think people really need to look at the potential for hyperbaric oxygen therapy and we're, we're always trying to get research uh to study this because i feel it's one of the most important topics that need to be studied brain injury traumatic brain injury and using mm -hmm. hyperbaric oxygen in addition to ketosis. So the two together we feel would be very uh, therapeutic for recovery of patients, especially if it's done immediately after, but even patients maybe that had the injury a while back, we think it would have some benefit right. if they start. Wow. Well, that's been a bunch of, that's been a incredible amount of knowledge you just dropped. I really appreciate you doing this, man. I've kept you here for about two hours now. So. Uh, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate <laughs> I, I having love. a platform and speak about this stuff. So, yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a, it's a privilege to be able to have someone like you on here. So uh, hopefully we will get the opportunity to do it again in the future. And, uh, and oh yeah, tell everyone where they can find you online and learn more about what you're, what you're doing or. Yeah. Um, uh, go to, we have a company, Ketone Technologies LLC, but that company is more research and development, but we have a website that talk about, uh, what we do as a company and, uh, and also keto nutrition is really my main information website. Uh, I don't sell any products on that, but there's products on there that I've used and recommend and that I use personally. And there's consultants on there. There's podcasts on there, like the Tim Ferriss, Joe Rogan podcast are on there and stuff. So it's more of an information website for people. Uh, and it's kind of like a one-stop shop. And we also have a blog. So check out the blog. We've hit a lot of topics that we've uh, discussed and the blog will go into more depth and detail on each of those topics. What is the blog called? Uh, it's if you go to keto nutrition .org, okay. dot it's a dot org site. Uh, it's just the blog. So just on the bar at the top, just click on blog and it hits cool. things from different types of ketone supplements to diabetes to uh, all sorts of topics on there. So Perfect. yeah, but it gets into a little bit more detail.